One of the coolest things discovered last week is that there is no such thing as an anti-gravity which acts specially on anti-matter. On Earth, antimatter falls down, same as regular matter. As the name suggests, antimatter is the opposite of regular matter, which means it's made of subatomic particles which have the opposite charge from their regular matter counterparts. Things like positively charged positrons instead of negatively charged electrons, and negatively charged antiprotons instead of positively charged protons. Antimatter is super rare in our part of the universe, and it's super difficult to hold onto it because it annihilates when it comes in contact with regular matter. In fact, to even run this experiment, scientists had to use technology which is less than a decade old, wherein anti-hydrogen atoms are trapped using magnetic fields so they can be held in place without touching any matter. From there, it was simply a matter, pun retroactively intended, of observing the anti-hydrogen in action, and, lo and behold, it falls down at about the same speed as regular hydrogen. Experiments since the 1960s have hinted that this is the case, but it looks like this is the one that will finally put the anti-gravity idea to bed. But where did this idea come from in the first place? Well, if antimatter defied gravity, specifically by being attracted to other antimatter but repelled by the gravity of regular matter, that would explain why we don't see very much of it, despite the fact that theory says the Big Bang should have created equal amounts of matter and antimatter. Also, let's be honest, a universe with levitating antimatter would be super cool, especially because that would be a game changer for human technology. So in that sense, I guess this is a distinctly uncool discovery of the week, but it's still incredibly useful for physics to confirm that the theory of general relativity also applies to antimatter. While we may not be floating around on antimatter skateboards back to the future style anytime soon, we have a better grip of the cosmic rulebook. And that's pretty exciting.